sorry about that, babe. Recently on my Discord, which by the way is www.bitsdiscord.com if you want to join, we concluded another monthly Test Your Bits challenge, the game of choice, Ice Climber on the NES. Ice Climber is an arcade-style platformer developed and published by Nintendo. Originally in the arcades for the Nintendo vs. system, it was ported to the home NES console in 1985 as part of the Black Box series. In Ice Climber, you assume the roles of Popo and or Nana depending on if you are playing one-player mode or two-player mode. Essentially, your goal is to climb your way through the ice to the top of each level to recover a bunch of stolen vegetables from a giant condor. Yeah, you heard that right. Once you complete the base level, the bonus round consists of said vegetable grabbing and ultimately you want to hook your character onto the bottom of the condor for more points. Ice Climber features 32 vertically scrolling ice levels to get more and more difficult as you proceed. Much of the difficulty stems from the platforming as the jumping of the ice climbers can certainly take some time to get used to, and at times it almost feels like it'll just, I don't know, kind of jump as the game wants it to. Beyond just the platforming aspects, you're also at the mercy of being hit by Topi, an almost yeti looking figure who fills in ice holes on the floors, Nitpicker who is a tiny bird flying around the normal areas of the stage, as well as a polar bear who makes an appearance after a period of time, coming out to push the floors down. When it comes to the technical aspects of Ice Climber, well, there's really not much to say. It's an early NES title that's based off of an arcade game, so you kinda just get what you get. The graphics, the sound, the story, it's all rather run-of-the-mill. Really, the shining aspect of the game is the addictive nature in terms of reaching a new floor or achieving a new high score, which I guess was the goal to begin with. So for that, you can't really hate on it too much. Ice Climber was ported to quite a few platforms over the years, from Arcade, the NAS slash Famicom, NES PC 8801, the Famicom Disk System, e-reader and Game Boy Advance, the Wii, 3DS, and Wii U Virtual Consoles, Nintendo Switch Online, yeah, so it's on quite a bit. Ice Climber is a decently fun experience. That experience is enhanced when you put it into a competition setting for sure. But if you're kinda just alone on your own, eh, there's probably better games to be played. I give Ice Climber a 6 out of 10. It was certainly not a waste of time, and it's not a bad game at all. In fact, it's definitely worthy of a few playthroughs if you're a fan of the NES or 80s arcade titles. But after the initial charm and challenge wears off, you'll probably be better off focusing your gaming exploits elsewhere. If you've enjoyed this review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos. Until next time.